Hello everyone, my name is Mohamed Bahdur and today, as this is our third Java tutorial, I am going to teach you how to declare and use constructors in order to create objects and how to write getters and setters for the objects and how to create objects in the main method and also how to declare data members and attributes. As you already know, Java program starts by executing the method of methods of the sum classes. So let us begin. So the class keyword is to declare a class in Java. And here the public keyword means accessible to other classes. Private, when you see that keyword, is the only accessible to the underlying class. When you see the methods that has a void as a prefix, void is the type of the methods that does not retain any value. And the main method represents, as we already mentioned, start up of the Java program. Main method is referred as entry point of the Java application. So when you're writing a Java program, you always need a main method to execute the program or the application. Uh, today we're gonna put more emphasis on how to declare classes and constructors in Java. Constructors is in Java is a special type of methods. It's used to initialize the object. Constructor name must be the same as its class and we will see an uh, example. Constructors must have no explicit retain type. So there is no retain type for the constructors. And getters and setters is for to protect data integrity to prevent unauthorized access or assigning different values so let us go and write the, the code so i'm going to go now my eclipse program here so this is the just the skeleton just the uh, the person uh, class so as you already know this is the keyword public class person and this is one of the import classes that we need to use later. Uh, this is the uh, main method. So as you always need the main method. So today we're going to create uh, or declare the variables. So let us begin with. So I'm declaring now int is uh, what they call uh, primitive data type. So int it's age, it's a number. And also I'm going to put here in front of in private. So we can only access when other people are able to access it. Now, second line. So I already declared a variable called age. And now I'm going to declare another variable called name. So let me put also here private. So now you always need that semicolon to end. So here, let me put some comments here. Declaring variable named or named variable h. And now same thing here applies declaring variable name so now we need those two variables so in another word the person is the class name and it has the attributes of age and the name in the real life so the person has a name an age so now we're gonna declare constructor so i'm declaring a constructor so as we already said the constructor name is equal or the same as the class name and now i'm putting the int here they, they call here parameters or the arguments so int i and also I'm declaring string name one I'm 
now open braces as you see here there's close braces so now what we're doing here we are telling the constructor to create or to initialize an object and its attributes so now h is equal to i so h is our data member in here so i'm this operator is equal to i and now this value is equal to i the second value the second data data member that we have is name equal to name one so we declare a constructor with two arguments or two parameters or some people they call constructor with signatures so this constructor will create for us later on as you will see an object with two data members so we already have here two data members for this class person so now we close the press here so our constructor is done so now we're going to declare so what is again constructor is responsible initializing objects of type person and if there is no constructor the java uses the default constructor but this one is a very explicit so we declare a constructor with two type with two arguments so now we're going to declare i already have some code here so let me copy here quickly so we can quickly finish so now i'm going to copy here and put here so now let me give you some explanation of, about what i put here so this function or this method it's a void it's not returning anything and the name is just displaying information so it only will give us the or print out the name and the age when we call this method now we have to set the age so this they call getters and setters so this is the setters of our class so set age we're just setting the age so we have to set and it has the parameter int and h1 so it has one parameter and the h is equal to h1 so this h is our data member and this one is equal to one from here now same same thing applies here the string name so it's a type of string and our name is data member and it's equal to name one now we have to get the the get h so public int so this is our public int and it's in teacher get h it will retain the h which is the type of int same thing applies here public it's only public and it's accessible to our class uh, person and the type is a string of course and the get name is the name of the method and it has no argument but it just retains the name so this is retain and our data per uh, data members so not, let us see here so make sure all the braces open so we have one open here all of them are close and now we're gonna I'll show you how to create the object in the main method here so let us compile first or let us save we can go here to save let us compile it it's going to ask us here all right so nothing is going on here because there's no error but we did not create an object in the main so that's what we were expecting so nothing will print out in here the console so now we're in the main okay so i already have create some objects by here so I'm going to copy that. I'll explain to you. All right, so I have some code here. All 
water. So we're gonna go here. All right, so now we have, okay, let us begin here. This person is our class name. This is the instant variable, some people they call, or this is the object name. This object is a type of person and it's equal to new person. So we have to create a new object. Now, this is the default value. Remember that when we declare here and here, our constructor has two parameters. So in here, it has to have, but this is a default value. So it has a, a, a dummy values here. 114, Michael, it's expecting. So when we create an object, that object is expecting to have two attributes or two values, 114 here, and the name of the person is Michael. So now we're gonna override this. And so P1 is the new object which created here. So we have to set the name, Mike, and P1 still, we have to set the age, 92. Remember that set age was ex is expecting to have one argument here, and set name was expecting here to have one argument. And now here, remember that this method is only responsible to print out our information. So in here, this is our method. So system out. So we pass to here our name and the age. So when we call this method, we would only print the name and the age. So let us see if that's true. So I created this object. So this object is now complete. Now I also create the object uh, 2, P2. It's a new person. The default value in here is 0, 0. And it's an empty string here. So now we will operate 2. P2. Now here P2. Now here, P2, set name, so the, set, the name is here Layla, and the set age to 1, 1. So I'm asking this method to print out P2. Let's run it, see if it's true. So now as you see in the console, Mike92, which is in here, and Layla21, which is in here. So, <clears throat> Uh, to recap, this is the object we create, but it's the type of person. So when you when you try to create an object, you have to create you have to use this new keyword, new person, and the, our constructor has two arguments, age and the name. So when you create a new person, that person has two attributes in here. So our constructor is in here has two arguments and now when you're setting the age you set the age remember that again set the age has a one argument in here and this age is equal to age one so now person one uh, sorry person two has a default value zero 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 which is the age and this is the empty string so now we create a real person. We pass the name of the person here, and the set name has the one argument. And now set age to one one. Display information will only print out the information that's coming from the, those two values. So today I'm going to stop here. So uh, I will see you next time. Thank you very much.